All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from Grand Armory Brewing, and they are out of Grand Haven, Michigan, and this is their Weezen the Juice. So they're calling this a juicy IPA. Is it New England style? Maybe, but it's definitely an American IPA. It comes in at 6.5% alcohol by volume, 37 IBUs in the time of review. This can is approximately six weeks old. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Jeff, aka No Jinx, for hooking me up with this one, along with a bunch of other great beers. I'll post a link in the description box to the beer mail boxing video I did of said beers. And uh, this was one of the so-called summer crushers that Jeff sent my way. He's like, I really you know dig this one for a summer crusher. And uh, yeah, I get the chance to try it now. First things first, the theme of this uh, label and the beer in general is fantastic. We using the juice. Uh, on the side here, it says a juicy IPA for mugs, chillin' and grindage, buddy. Should be nugs. Maybe they changed it to mugs because of beer. But it's a whole play on Encino Man, the cult classic movie from like 1992, 93. Uh, I love that movie. I grew up with it. I was like 12 or 13 when it came out. And uh, yeah, I just love the theme to this uh, beer, Weez and the Juice. Um, yeah, they have a little bit of a spiel on their website about it too. So yeah, fantastic label and artwork and just theme. I love it. So yeah, 6.5%, 37 IBUs. They do say on their website they use um, Citra Mosaic for dry hopping so yeah hopefully it's pretty tasty six weeks old we should be good there too so yeah crack it open here give it a pour see what we got going on so that is not pouring out super hazy let's just say that from the get-go this actually looks super light wow kind of uh kind of surprised by how light that looks honestly so yeah this i don't know how it's gonna come off on camera but i'll tell you in person this has this really bright vibrant like pretty much golden yellow color it's like very bright yellow let's just say it looks sunshine in a glass about a two finger fluffy white almost soap sudsy kind of creamy looking head uh it is you know it is pretty murky and turbid uh i wouldn't say it necessarily looks like a straight on new style ipa but it definitely looks juicy and hazy so uh yeah it looks fine i don't think you know i can really complain about the looks too much a bit lighter than i would anticipate at 6.5 percent but whatever it's gonna nose oh that's nice Big pop of like stone fruits, mango. Yeah, peach, sweeter peach, like peach gummy rings. I like to mention that a lot, but like candied peach, candied mango. Getting a little bit of like a kiwi scent. I don't get kiwi like almost ever in any IPAs. Like I don't hear a lot of people use kiwi as a tasting note when it comes to IPAs, but definitely getting like a kiwi. Yeah, kiwi almost melon vibe to it as well. It has a... Uh, Pretty hefty crackery malt base. I feel like they're using Pilsner malt or something like that in here because, uh, yeah, it, it's it's not big. Like, the malt base isn't big, but I'm definitely getting it. A little bit of, like, wet grass going on, too. Slight pine. Yeah, it's, it's really candied. Um, a lot of candied fruit, but just sweeter overall in the nose. I feel like this is going to be a sweeter... Uh, American IPA, New England style IPA, hazy and juicy IPA, but it smells pretty good. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks again, Jeff. This actually drinks like an American pale ale, or like a New England style pale ale to me. I definitely get the malt base. And I'm not getting the malt base in the scent that, or in the sense, in the scent, in the sense that this beer is like falling off at six weeks. I'm getting in the sense that, like, I'm drinking this like a fresh pale ale. I get a, this, this really crackery, slightly biscuity, like, malt base. Like I said, I feel like they're using Pilsner malt. Probably wrong on that, but just has, like, this crackery malt base. It carries on throughout the entire palate. Over top of that rides that candied peach, like, peach gummy rings, candied mango. A little bit of that kiwi and, like, melon rind. Um, halfway through the palate... I'm hit with that like wet grass or just a generic grassiness and a little bit of pine, which, you know, juicy, hazy, usually don't get pine. There's a little bit of pine here for me. It finishes relatively dry, like not super dry, but it's like between semi and full on dry. And uh, there is a little pop of bitterness here, like low to moderate uh, bitterness that kind of lets you know this is, you know, an IPA of some sort. Now it does, the thing is, is it's very sweet on like most of the palate, but then it finishes, it dries out pretty nice. And then on top of that, you're left with that like low to moderate bitterness. So kind of balances off the sweetness because with all that malt character and with all those like candied, you know, candied tropical and stone fruits, I was worrying it was going to be too sweet. But no, this is honestly the definition of like a summer crusher, which is pretty much what Jeff said it was and it kind of is. 
Body on this one's a little bit thin at 6.5. I put it like lower side of medium body, almost like almost approaching like high side of lower body. It's like right in between there. Uh, the mouthfeel itself, this is where it's not a New England style. They don't call, they just say it's a juicy IP. So, you know, from that aspect, is it really juicy? I get more candied than straight on juice characters. The mouthfeel though, this drinks like a regular American IPA. It, it's not super effervescent. There isn't a lot of lots of uh, crispness or sprittiness on the on the palate, but it is carbonated. It's not really soft or smooth. Um, Finish is actually relatively clean. Outside of that, like slight bitterness on the back end, there's nothing really lingering on my palate. Yeah, truth be told, it's a really solid, as they call it, juicy IPA. Uh, there is some juiciness here. It's more of the more candy than juicy for me. I like the balance between the malt base between the hop character and just the finish itself. It's, it doesn't lean too far in any one direction. I will say that this to me, if I was doing it blind, I would guess like a five to five and a half percent American Palau. That would be my guess. I wouldn't guess six and a half percent juicy IPA. I will give them uh, style marks for the, uh, the theme and the label and everything. That's just fantastic. But like in all honesty, I can't go too high on this one just because it, it, I've had this beer. I've had this, not this beer specifically, but I've had this type of beer before. I've had a beer that drinks like five and a half percent in the American Pale Ale, borderline I, American IPA range. This to be called a juicy IPA for me personally, I want it to be super juicy. I want it to just be, you know, the, the mouthfeel itself is fine since it is a juicy IPA, American IPA, and not a New England style IPA, but I've just had this beer before. So it's not setting a new standard for me. It's nothing new to me personally, but I'm not gonna sit here and say this is a bad beer because it's not, I'm enjoying it. Definite Summer Crusher, 6.5% hides the alcohol well. So I see why you, Jeff, enjoy this one. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it too. It's just, you know, nothing special. So uh, Weezing the Juice from Grand Armory, I'm gonna give it just a straight on 3.75 out of five. Can't go much higher than that. Can't go much lower. It's kind of, you know, in that really, in that solid to good range. Uh, it doesn't get to the very good. Usually for me, four out of five and higher, you, that's where you hit like the very good. Once you get like to 4.25, it's great, right? So 3.75 is pretty much a solid good, like uh, like solid to good basically is what a 3.75 is. And yeah, I have no problems calling this a good beer because it is, it's just, you know, nothing special. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate you sending this one to me, Jeff, because I really did enjoy uh, drinking it. And I just, like I said, I love the theme to this one. So if you've had this beer before, let me know what you think about it. I enjoyed it. But yeah, anyway, appreciate everybody stopping by. Thanks again, Jeff, to the next one. Cheers. Mm, not cheers. I don't know what the price point on this one is. Jeff, let me know what you paid for it. Availability, I think Grand Armory only gets distribution in Michigan. So if you're not in Michigan, you probably can't buy this one. Uh, but price point, let me know what you think about it or what you paid for it, Jeff. And uh, I'd imagine, like, I, I always try to guess, but if this is a six pack, probably 10 bucks, maybe 10 to 12 bucks. If it comes in a four pack, probably under 10 bucks, I'd say like 8.99. But yeah, anyway, tell me, Jeff, instead of me always guessing, because I'm an idiot. I don't know why I guess, but anyway, I'm going to shut it down. Cheers, everyone.